Now, neoconservatives are not fond of President Obama normally, but they have come to his defense on drone strikes. Of course, of course, K executing U.S. citizens without a trial. They jump in it. All of a sudden, here comes the neocons to the rescue. Now, uh, President Obama had been getting a lot of heat uh, for uh, the fact that we do execute U.S. citizens without any due process. And now that a uh, white paper was leaked to NBC on this topic, we found out that these people aren't even posing an imminent threat. The new definition of imminent is, well, if they ever made a plan once, we think, maybe, and never changed their mind as far as we know, well, then we can kill them. Uh, no, it does not mean immediate. It does not mean they're in the middle of attacking us or about to attack us. So they changed the whole of the definitions and now they're applying it to U.S. citizens as well. And by the way, one of the guys I mentioned there yesterday was Samir Khan, one of the three U.S. citizens who have been executed already by President Obama without a trial. And, uh, you know, people say, oh, execution is too strong a word. Well, what do you call it when a drone lands on top of your head and your body blows up into smithereens? I would call that an execution. You're quite dead. Right. So that Samir Khan guy, the so-called charge against him, there are no formal charges, never been indicted, never gone to uh, the judicial system at all here in the U.S., uh, was that he was an al-Qaeda propagandist. Is that why we execute people now? If they do propaganda we don't like? Hmm, that'll put a lot of people in trouble. Remember, Samir Khan was a U.S. citizen executed for being a propagandist, apparently. How do you like that for broad? Well, of course, the neocons say, oh, we love it, we love it, thank you. Just as we were getting a couple of Republicans like Senator Bob Corker concerned, three other Republicans signed on the letter from Senator Wyden saying, hey, maybe we should at least see the memo where you get to execute, where you claim you have the legal authority to execute those folks. Well, here come uh, the neoconservatives on Fox News. First of all, John Bolt. Uh, it seems to me that the approach that the Obama administration is following is consistent with and really derived from uh, the Bush administration approach to the war on terror, and, and I think it's entirely sensible, uh, whether it's foreign uh, citizens who are involved with al-Qaeda or American citizens. Or American citizens is very sensible. And notice, of course, it does a little like following Bush's policies, ha-ha, that's what we told you you were going to do. And on this, they were right. Not because progressives wanted to do it, but because apparently President Obama is not a progressive. And he thought, God, man, I would love to follow that neocon strategy, but one up them by actually executing U.S. citizens, which Bush and Cheney uh, didn't think was possible. But apparently, our progressive president uh, has made it possible. And now, of course, he's got people like John Bolton continuing to cheer for him. Do you have any concerns about how it could be used under a different administration at a different time? Well, I think it could be used less effectively by, by a future American administration. Look, the use of, of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, uh, is a huge step forward in our capability to defend ourselves. So here's Fox News trying to be like, come on, but criticize them somehow, right? Under a different, it's a bad precedent under a different administration. He's like, no, no, no. There's, he, he's, you just heard Bolton say, only thing that an, an, another administration could do is use it less effectively. He's grading Obama at a basically maximum effectiveness here in executing U.S. citizens. This is the guy, John Bolton, who became our U.N. ambassador through a recess appointment because he was so radical, even the conservative Senate wouldn't confirm him. They said, this guy is off the chart radical. But now he agrees 100% with President Obama. Progressives must be so proud of their president. Well, one more from John Bolton. This is not robbing the local Starbucks down at the corner. This is not a criminal law matter. This is a, an issue that falls under the paradigm of the law of war, where the commander-in-chief's powers uh, are plenary and where we don't have uh, judicial review of uh, commander-in-chief decisions. And I think it's a, it's a sound case, uh, and from his own perspective, he needs to make it effectively. So that's funny. Uh, it falls under the law of war. What he forgot to tell you is that it's a violation of the law of wars. He says, well, it falls under it, whether it violates it or not. So uh, he doesn't have, this is not a criminal matter. You don't have to go to court or anything. We're, we're in war. By the way, we do the drone strikes in Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia. And you guys all remember when we declared war on those three countries, right? 
oh right, we didn't declare war on them, we're not at war with them, except the neocon and Obama way of thinking on this is the entire planet is a battlefield. Now, since it's not a criminal matter, and if the entire planet is a battlefield, the president can execute anyone he likes in that battlefield at any time, and it is only his decision and not a judicial decision. Now, what is the meaning of that? That does mean, well, John Bolton, we could declare you an enemy combatant or a terrorist or a propagandist. I mean, don't you do propaganda on Fox News? And then, according to your own reasoning, the president and you're a U.S. citizen, Samir Khan, the two of Lockheed's, we're all both senior U.S. citizens. So, according to your own logic, the president can execute you tomorrow and go, "You got to trust me on this one. I got a super secret memo that has the legal reasoning behind us." And I have a super secret memo that explains why John Bolton had to be put on the list. But anyway, he was executed. Now we move on. Just trust the government. I mean, isn't that how a democracy is supposed to work? You just trust that you have benevolent leaders and that they are all merciful and look out for the interests of the people. But don't ever question them or do checks and balances, have a judiciary that might overlook them or overlook what they are doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, our judiciary has overlooked everything, uh, partly because of the actions of the executive. But John Bolton's not alone. Now, Lizzie Graham, the guy who's been all over Obama on every issue, every nominee, on guns, on war, on Hegel, on every oh, Obama's the worst, Obama's dirty, Obama's terrible. How about executing U.S. citizens abroad? <laughs> Lizzie Graham's like, yes! Finally, I got something I like! Quote, every member of Congress needs to get on board. It's not fair to the president to let him leave him out there all, all alone. Quite frankly, he's getting it hit from libertarians and the left. All of a sudden, Lizzie Graham is worried about what's not fair to the president. Lizzie Graham, who has never seen a war he didn't immediately fall in love with. And, oh, but, oh you're executing US citizens? No due process? God damn it, that's good. Even Cheney didn't do that. I got to give you that one. One more. I think one of the highlights of President Obama's first term and the beginning of his second term is the way he's been able to use drones against terrorists. Now, of course, as we've repeatedly said, we have no idea if they're terrorists because all the evidence against them is considered a state secret. They have never told us why they killed Samir Khan or the 16-year-old Alawlaki. Now, they, his father, they said, oh, he's involved in a lot of serious plots. And the president thought very seriously about it. Did they present evidence on that? No. But we assume that they're right about that. The other two, they're like, who cares? I don't have to tell you anything. I'm the imperial presidency, so you can kiss off. I got the neocons on my side. I don't need anybody else. Oh, change, change. Change to being even more right-wing than Bush and Dick Cheney. Those of you who th still think President Obama is a progressive, you are deluded. I mean, he's on the same side as Lindsey Graham and John Bolton, and he still hasn't gotten to, through to your thick skull, that the man is not a progressive, not remotely. Every instinct, every bone in his body says, who do, how do I go more right? How do I go more conservative? That's what Obama's about. So it's unsurprising that the neocons now are thrilled with him.